Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm going live. And I'm going to be going live on two platforms. So I'm waiting for everyone to come in. So let's see who chimes in today. I just felt like going live. And I have a special treat for you guys. I'm going to go live in a few minutes on Instagram as well. So let's see who we got on a Sunday mid-afternoon. Hello, if you're just joining me, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to mute this. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, Sonia, first person. Hello, Fabulous32. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Bernetta. Uh, Leslie Hill, hello Crystal, hello Lisa, Sweet Viola LLC. I'm gonna go live on Instagram as well, so give me one second. I've never gone live on Instagram, guys, so I'm nervous about the Instagram one. I'm moving my camera um, so I can try to position and see everyone. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous because I've never gone live on Instagram. Hello, Instagram, hello. Katrina, my very first time going live here, and I'm going live on two platforms on Instagram and YouTube. So I'm going to try to pull up something so that way I can read the comments. If you're just joining me, hello, hello. So today I'm going to be going over all the equipment that I use because I posted um, an unpacking reel um, short on YouTube before, and I showed kind of briefly some of the stuff that I have. And everyone was like, can you please tell us everything that you have? So I'm going to walk you through on how I got started on what I started out with and what I currently use now today. Some budget friendly, some stuff costs a nice little penny, but it's all up to you. But I just want to come on here, spend my Sunday afternoon with you guys. This is my first time going live on IG. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Y'all are popping in. What's going on? I'm nervous because it's my first time going live on two platforms, okay? So wherever you guys are from, hello, welcome. It's Katrina's Graceful Creations on both platforms. And I want to um, try to keep up with as many comments as I can, but I am going to move behind the desk, so I'm not going to be able to see all the comments right away, but I'll keep coming back and forth if you guys have questions. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if you guys are just coming in, hello, Anna, hello, Crystal, hello. Oh, my goodness. Life with... Oh, I can't pronounce all these names. Renina. Um, yeah. Hello. Thank you so much. So I'm going to get started. I don't want to hold you guys too long on a Sunday. So again, if you're just joining me, um, I was asked multiple times on both platforms to go over everything that I use. So if you're just starting out or you want to upgrade your equipment, this will be a really good video um, because when you're first starting out, you're always wondering, do I want to spend a lot of money? What do I, what should I use? What should I buy? Um, and you don't have to go out buying a whole bunch of stuff when you're just starting out. Hello, hello, what's going on, everyone? Hello, Anthony, what's going on? Hello, um, hello, making it, oh, making it, making it with Marilyn, what's going on? Hello, how are you? So I'm going to step back here. I'm going to turn on these. Um, I'm going to turn on the, the video so that way I can see the comments. Um, but Instagram, I'll just have to keep going back and forth. I want to, so I'm going to go over all the equipment that I have, but unfortunately I can't show you the equipment that I have on the, the stand. So I'm using the stands. Um, I'm using like a Ulanzi rig. I'll show Instagram. So this is the equipment that I'm using right now. I'm streaming on my iPad and then I'll show YouTube what I'm using for Instagram. So you guys are on a tripod, like a selfie stick. Um, and I'll also show you my setup, my desk area, my, I have two ring lights back there. Okay. It's real ghetto because the main ring light that I have, I'll show you guys on YouTube as well. This is how I'm streaming on Instagram. This is my ring light. And then this is the other small ring light. Everything that I'm using pretty much is linked in my Amazon store. So the link is down below in the description box. So that way you'll be able to see everything. Hello, what's going on? So I'm going to show you everything I have. I have a lot of stuff laid out. I went even digging in my garage for like my old stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it and get started. I feel like I want to stay close so that way I can read the comments. But, you know, I want to go back. 
how are you guys if you're just coming in i'm not buying anything else until i have mastered it you don't have to so perfect someone just said that they're not buying anything else when i first started i literally didn't buy anything i used my cell phone and at the time i had an android phone so if you go back to those very beginning videos the quality isn't that clear because you know it was like what three four years ago i was still learning still getting new to everything so i just used what i had i had my android phone recorded landscape and i wasn't really doing too much social media at the time then eventually i switched over i got an iphone um got the got the mac and everything like that and that's when i started to grow but when i first started out i think i just had like a regular selfie stick um but i'm gonna but it, but i was a photographer at the time so i did have a camera already so when it came to me taking product shots for mock-ups for um for my social media platform for my website i did have a camera now this is the camera where is the camera where is the camera i had a dip oh it's downstairs it's downstairs i'm sorry but i'll show i thought i even had the box i thought i got everything i thought i brought up everything but it's downstairs and i don't want to run and get it but i have a sony um mirrorless camera it's the um this one is the one that i use for vlogging now currently this is the sony zb1 this is the sony zb1 and i have like the little road mic on top these are very inexpensive people. You can get them, I believe they're like $50 maybe. Um, you attach it, it makes the audio sound much better. Uh, it does, you can get it in a package where you, um, it comes with a, like a remote, um, what do you call it, tripod. But I got the Ulanzi one and I'll tell you why. I love the Ulanzi. So Instagram, you saw the stand that my, um, that my iPad and everything is on. So these have like the clicking um click and go i'm not sure what they call but they are all these you lansy pieces i'm going to show instagram first and then i'm going to show this so now this is great because they have these mechanisms that lock on so now when i'm recording freehand if i'm out out and about blogging right i want to back you guys up so you can really see my whole face my head is getting chopped up on youtube <laughs> sorry about that guys so when I'm out and about blogging, if you're creating content or whatever, it's on a selfie stick, right? But if I'm home and I'm recording and I'm blogging, I'm not twisting and turning my camera. All I'm doing is clicking this out and I'm gonna show Instagram. Sorry, I can't show YouTube right now, but look at this. All I can do is just click this up here and I don't wanna move my camera. Ah! Okay, y'all see, y'all get the point right. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the camera dropped but the same thing that's on this is on the back of my uh, my tripod and it clicks on and then I move this red button over and it locks in place it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere they also have gadgets where if you like I have it I couldn't find it because I it's in my camera bag or somewhere I'm trying to unlock it take it out the ballpoint moves you can record at any angle stuff like that but they also have clips that you lancy have mechanisms that you can put on like backpacks your jacket i even have one um for like my camera gear so if i am doing a photo shoot i'm gonna lift you guys back up sorry so if i am doing a photo shoot and i couldn't find it so these are my lens i have like multiple lens so say for instance you're doing a product shot or you're creating content outside or something like that and you have multiple lens right this is my I use this one mainly now. This one is my, I think it's the, the 20, yeah, this is my 24 to 70 G Master Prime lens. And then I have like the, um, the 50 millimeter. So there's this gadget that allows you to interchange and click on your, on your person. You can wear it on your strap or you can click it on your bag and you can just click them in and out. Makes it so convenient and easy to use. So now I use that for like when I'm doing my, um, when I'm doing my, uh, photos for photos and stuff. I don't record with that. I only record with this one. Oh guys, my camera is literally sitting right here. This is my camera. This is my baby. I switched over from Canon and now I use for whenever I am creating um, my content, whenever I am um, uh, doing my photos for all my pictures, my website, I use my Sony mirrorless seven, three. A3, Sony A73, however you say it. All right, this is a mirrorless. I switched over from Canon. I used to be a Canon girl for years, but now I use this. It has some weight to it. And then 
on top of it, if, um, if you need extra lighting, if I'm inside, I'm just showing this to you, but we're going to get to some budget stuff as well. I'll put in my, this was the first one that I had, but this is not the one I use now. This is the Flashpoint um, Lithium Zoom Lens. This is the Flashpoint one. But now I use similar, but I use the Godox one with the round, the round one. This is the box, Ugh, this, the Godox V1. This is what I use for my content shooting in the house. And this is perfect because sometimes I do not want to set up strobes. I have the Explorer 600, I believe it's called. That's when I was really, really mainly doing photography for a living. But um, I got tired of setting, I just was tired of all that stuff in my house. So now I just use this, click it onto here, um, put it in like TTL mode, lock it in place. And I love that this um, is rounded, gives it much better um, lighting. And then I also have like this kit that you can buy as well. And you can have like um, a dome light gives you, it comes with all this stuff. So you can get like a sort of version of a soft box. So all this stuff is linked in my Amazon store. It even comes with the different, um, like different grip. Don't mind my son, it's Sunday, he's in his room. Don't mind my son yelling in the background. So it comes with all of that as well. Um, so I'm gonna get into like budget friendly stuff, but I want to get my camera out the way because so many people are always asking me what camera do I use? One other thing about this, I can't remember the name of these, but guys, so how many of you know when you're taking full on, full on photography, product shots and stuff, your strap sometimes it gets in the way, right? So when I'm on the go, especially if I'm doing like models and stuff like that, sometimes I'm up high, sometimes I'm up low, and sometimes the strap is in my way. I had to find something that works for me. So I got these quick release straps, quick release straps where I can easily just push it up and take the strap off just like that. And now my strap is not out the way. But if I want to put it back on because I don't want my camera to drop or fall, I click it right back in place. Um, and like I said, this comes with the accessories. Like I can put it on my bag. You can clip these anywhere. They look just like this, these little click, um, quick release straps. And you can like clip them onto anything. So right now my camera's hanging, but if I want to take it off because I need to get in some weird angle position to hold my camera, all I got to do is just slide it up, out the groove, and unclip it on both sides. So that way I'm not always having to, like, un I used to hate the camera straps. All right, so that's my camera, the Sony um, a7 III. I use that with photo photography, but I use the Sony ZV-1 for vlogging, for vlogging. And I use all the Ulanzi, um, like, grits, the mounts, all that stuff. They're interchangeable. They go on everything. So that way, if you have a whole system... You have the whole Ulanzi system right here. They're black and red. They click onto everything and they all interchange on everything. All right. Let's get into some other stuff. All right. Let me go to the comments first. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. The lighting source is good. Um, is the auto repair as well for an auto repair? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, someone said, hey, Katrina, saying hello from New York. Hey, what's up, Renee from New York? Um, hello everyone over here in IG. What's going on? All right. So listen, um, some of us don't have cameras, right? So if you just want to vlog, if you just want to take content with your phone, if you just want to do everything with your phone, perfect. So some of us have a tripod, a selfie stick. That's perfect as well. But if you're just using just a selfie stick, like the one that I have, YouTube, this is the selfie stick that, um, that I have my phone on. It comes with a remote. Instagram, the phone, um, the tripod, tripod right now that my phone is on, it does not, um, it comes with a selfie stick. There's no stabilization with that, right? So if I'm out and about and if I'm blogging, um, if I'm using my phone, I want my, my footage, especially if you're going to be putting this on TikTok, Instagram reels, but especially if you're going to be using it for YouTube, you want it to be stable. So I went out and I tried to find the best stabilizer. I had started out with this one. This is like an M crane. This was for my camera, but I don't really use this anymore. And it was kind of difficult. Then I broke the knob. <laughs> so I don't really use this anymore, but I went out and I got this. I like because it, folds up nice and compact 
Um, and this is the what is this called? This is the um the OSM, the OS Osmo. I'm saying the letters, the Osmo DGI. Um, how many of you know about this little gadget? I love this baby. So, you know, it has a little tripod leg. You can either hold it just like this, or you can um, use the extension with the, with the tripod. And that way you can stand it up and record as well. It does have like self um, following mode. So I love that, but it's a gimbal. It's a self, um, it stabilizes. I don't even know if it's charged, but the best part about this is, oh my God, I can't show you because my phone is on the thing if I had my son's phone. So it has this magnetic piece that you can put to the back of your cell phone. You put this on the back of your cell phone so that way um, you're not always having to make sure your phone is right. Once you weigh your phone and get it right, then it automatically remembers it like memory sync. So if my phone was on here, just imagine my phone is already attached to this. This clips on, it expands, so it fits various sizes of phones. You put this on the back of your phone and then magnetically it clicks on and once i turn this on let's see if it's powered up because i'm not sure if it's um it has oh it has some power look at that it's going to automatically turn on turn on the phone is not on here but normally and i think it might be dead but normally it would automatically straighten up and put your phone in like um vertical position it syncs with an app so long story short, this is a stabilizer. You can, however you move your hand, it's a gimbal. It allows you, your phone to like stay accurate. So you can get low shots. You, you, it's just great for content. So I advise, the one purchase that I would advise you to get if you're not into spending money, um, and this is nothing in this, none of this is like, you know, sponsorship or anything. I just like to help you guys. I want you guys to have the best content possible, right? Storytelling is really important. Um, ads and reels are re really important when it comes to creating content for your clothing brand. So if you're trying to get great content for your brand, you're going to have to invest in some type of equipment. Um, if you have a phone, that's great, but you might want to invest in a gimbal because it will allow you to really, really help with stable shots, different angles, and it's all going to be steady. I mean, this thing is just amazing. So I can hold it out here, I can record, I can work and vlog, and everything is gonna stay like in sync and it's gonna follow you. So look this up and it's, it should be linked. I think I got it from Best Buy, I'm not sure. But look this up if you haven't heard of it. If you don't like this one, if this one is not in your budget, just look up any other type of gimbal. So this is an example of the one that I have. All right, what's going on Instagram? What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. All right, so let's look at the, Yes, the Osmo DJI, can you use it for your iPad? This, no, you can't use this for your iPad. This is this is as, as wide as it goes. You made me drop it. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, please don't be broke. Please don't be broke. This is, I love this thing. But this is, this is, this is only for your phone. I don't know of a gimbal for an iPad. Um, that I don't know of. I only know them. Gimbals are mainly for cameras and phones. There are some that are for both. Like this one is for both, um, but I wanted one specifically lightweight that can fold up compact for my phone. All right. Do we have any questions on Instagram? All right. Questions. I would love to start offline. I would love to chat offline for advice. You can book me under all my, um, under all of my um, videos. There's a one-on-one -on -one, um, where you can book, book and schedule, you know, a one-on-one -on -one with me, either 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Oh my God, Katrina, I love you so much. Although I'm new to the channel, I have been binge watching. Thank you so much, Real Life with Mama Kim. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you everything else I have. So now this TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> TikTok made me buy it. Um, and if you've seen the reel that I did, I'm going to be using it a lot more. I'm going to actually demo it. If you've seen the little reel and the short that I did uh, when I was on the hoverboard um, doing the bling shirt, bling shirt. So these are like all over um, TikTok. Um, and it's like, what is it called? I don't even know. No, this is the box. Okay. It's a uh, built-in rechargeable lithium battery. What's the name of it? What's the name of it? It don't even have a name. Everyone just knows it. It's like this thing that follows you around. Um, so you put your phone on here again. And again, I can't demo because my phone, I'm live on IG. But you put your phone on here. You can put this. Um, it comes with like a little tripod leg. Um, no, it comes with like a little spinner. Where's that? 
boom here we go it comes with this so you can stand it up alone on this so just like every tripod it has that um that hole or you can put it on top of a tripod so that's what i had it on a tripod and when you charge it you know you sync it you turn it on with your phone and your phone it automatically tracks you so if you move it tra and it's recording you love this everyone needs one of these in their life i think this was like around 50 dollars or maybe less i can't remember how much they sometimes they go on sale but i got this one from the TikTok shop the TikTok shop very first purchase off of TikTok, and i was really satisfied it comes in black white or pink okay so this is what it looks like it's like a cell phone tracking device so if you're out recording because you know Half the time we're out here doing this by ourselves, right? We want to model our brands. We want to take video footage because not only is just taking photos, product shots important, but you have to create content with video. So I'm going to do a whole entire um, video or reel with just this to show you what it looks like. But if you want to get shots and stuff of your garments, of your clothes, and you have no one to record you and they hand it to me, I don't want anyone recording it anyway, unless they're using a gimbal because I want my shot stable. So this is going to allow you to get sh stable shots and you can walk around, do whatever you want, and it's going to track you the entire way. So get you one. All right. Uh, what's going on? What's going on, Clarissa? Hello. Hey, boo. Hey, CBFF. Patrice is in the building, everybody. All right. So little small things. If you're traveling on the go, you're creating content on the go. And I think this is what sparked um, the video. It was like, oh, my God, what are all the gadgets you have? So, you know, I'm always trying to find stuff. And I'm always on TikTok looking up videos like travel, um, travel accessories, the best accessories for traveling. So this is how I find a lot of stuff. And then my sister is like a shopaholic, too. I can't stay off Amazon. So number one, I have to keep my phone charged. And yes, there's so many different chargers. There are so many different chargers, right? But I just thought this was cool. Like, I just thought this was the best. This, I believe, is like around $40. It has everyone, the C, the, the lightning cable, and it has the one for Android, too. So you plug it in. But it also, most importantly, it has, like, the... Um, my nails are crappy today. Uh, don't be laughing at me. I still got one nail left on. So I can't pull it out right now, but it has the plug, right? But it also comes with this cool carrying case. But the fact that this holds a charge longer than some of those other small portable chargers, because I've tried them all, the little small sleek ones. I got to get a new one, uh, another small portable one that just came out from, um, I think it's Archon or um, whatever it is. So this is great. This is great. I just love this one because... It was reasonably priced around $40 and it holds a charge so long, so long. Love that. And you can charge more than one thing at a time. All right. Also, I love this bad boy. Guys, have you seen these? They're like these interchangeable, um, not interchangeable. These, this, they charge three devices. So if you are an Apple person, sorry, Android users, this is for Apple. Charges your, Air, um, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your phone. So you can lay it out flat like this. So, you know, folds up. I, I take this to everywhere I go, hotels, everywhere. You can lay it out flat or you can, you know, do it like this. So that way your Apple Watch is, you know, sitting up. It just, in, in any different shape or form, you can sit it however you want and it charges everything quick, fast. This is on my nightstand every night. And every time I'm on the road, I pack it up and I take it with me. And of course it comes with its own charger as well. So you can charge three devices in one three devices in one so now when i'm traveling of course i can't have i have to contain all my cords i have to contain all the stuff so everything from my camera everything from the tripod the on the leg everything from all my cords from my laptop ipad everything fits in this case they come in different sizes but of course this is the large one um, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen them. There's so many different options, but to keep everything neat in one place when you're unpacking, it's just simple and easy. So, you know, this one has the compartments for your cameras and I like that it has the sections. So this is my little travel case. This one is um, by Metin or something like that. So just showing you that. Uh, again, I'm doing this video only because if you're just coming in, if you're just joining, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. But a lot of people was asking me, what equipment do I use? So I already showed my ring light. I showed the stands. Um, I showed the tripod that I have. Of course, I have, you know, I use my, um, my, my, 
my oh my goodness my ipad right now i'm streaming on my ipad and i'm streaming on my um my iphone so i just upgraded to the iphone 15 so that those are the devices i use for like vlogging and for um for tiktok reels and for my um and for my uh, my live streams but when i'm actually recording for youtube i'm using my actual camera i started out with my android phone if you guys are just coming in but now i only use my phone and my ipad for streaming and for TikTok reels and shorts and stuff like that but my camera is specifically for youtube vlogs all right questions questions hey fabulous 52 what's that 52 or 32 oh my god my eyes are bad hey elizabeth you both um have taught me so much Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Instagram, where you guys at? You quiet over here on Instagram. Everyone is popping in the chats on TikTok. I mean, on, on YouTube. Um, I started helping me so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Did you design the shirt yourself? Yes, the shirt. I designed this, and this is Bella Canvas. This is their crop tee. So this is my Christian bay, because I know I'm a Christian, but I'm also a bay. <laughs> oh, hello, Donzel. What's going on? Are you gonna do good with your with your camera? Um, yes, thank you. I've been doing. I've been using this equipment for a while. How is Caden? I haven't seen him in a while. Um, Caden is going through some things. We had a really rough day yesterday, so you know he's in his room. So. Um, yeah, Caden's in his room. He, we we go through some things, but um, he's all right. Thanks you. Thank you so much for asking about him. Um, you know, he's a boy. He's been getting in some trouble at school. Where did you get your charger from? Which char? Oh, the charger. The charger's from Amazon. Um, charger from Amazon. And at the end, um, and it should be linked in my in my Amazon store. So anything that's on Amazon is linked under my equipment section on Amazon, in the Amazon store. This one is linked in the Amazon store. I'm trying to think what else did I show you guys. Oh, important. Okay, so anyone recording, vlogging, especially for crafters, bakers, cookers, whatever you do, right? Uh, and you want to get those overhead shots, real important, real key. Now, I don't have anything over here. Now, because my tripod goes up to like six or seven feet, most of the times when I, when I look at my YouTube videos, my tripod is on an angle and it's just hovering over with my camera over it because I have that new Lansy um, ballpoint that will allow me, where did I have an extra one? That will allow me to turn my camera all the way down like that, right? But it's still not overhead, all right? Y'all see that over here on Instagram? So the ballpoint allows you to get like up close shots. So if I'm recording like right here up on my table, my, my tripod most of the time is right here. But if you want specifically, completely, cause I have done it in a lot of unboxings. I'll put my set, I just hate setting up multiple things and moving stuff. It's a lot of work. But this Archon, this Archon mount, baby, this thing is the truth. Like it has, it has this at the bottom where you can hook it on to like any table or desk. And it has a really large opening so it can fit most desks like i put it right here and hook it on and then hoping that, that both cameras can see me you can turn this up and that way i have it in the wrong direction and you can get extended over trying to get both cameras to see youtube and instagram you can extend it and put your camera here and that way you can get the overhead shot this is an archon mount so now I can't remember how much these cost. Um, it's in my Amazon store. If you and it, it extends, it goes up, and then it extends out this way as well. And you can stop it. It comes with accessories. So I can right now the accessory is on this tripod. So Instagram, you can see, you can see how the accessory, the attachment is on the back of it, right? I can put that accessory on here, and then I can record and vlog two different angles. All right. So if Anyone is using two cameras, iPod, camera, phone, you can hook whatever you want. It comes with different attachments where you can hook and record, you know, multiple different um, um, devices. But they also, they don't have a straight one. They also have another one that I'm probably going to get as well, where it's like sections where you can break it up and bend it. So this one is just straight, but I can still twist it and turn it like if I want to turn this, I can turn it this way. I can turn it that way. But they have another one that's in sections where you can break it and curve it. So Archon mounts are the best. Really? <laughs> Someone is calling me. Sorry, Instagram. Um, so there's different sections where you can break it up. Now, 
Icon did have some drama going on a while ago, but whatever. That's that's the amount. But if you don't want to pay for something like this, guys, there's always a cheaper way. There's always a cheaper way. When I first started out, I was literally just in my garage trying to find it and I could not find it. But I started out with a smaller one. It was like a, a podcast um, mount. And all you have to do, and it has like the same exact concept, but all you have to do is just take off that top and change out the ballpoint and hover it over your desk. I was using that when I was doing cooking um, cooking videos with my son. So anything that you can use or you can find like this will allow you to get those overhead shots, those overhead shots. Let's go to the chat. Let's go to the chat. Hello, someone said, hello, Coke's mom, Coco, Coco Mommy. Hello. How are you? What's going on? Joe is in the building from Heart and Hustle. What's up? Shout out to you. Hello, Latasha. Hello. Hello, Crystal. Do you, what do you have to do to promote your business? What do you have to do? Um, so how I promote my business, word of mouth, social media, trending sounds on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and basically just, you can run ads as well, but I get a lot of traction from, you know, reels, um, TikTok right now is where it's at. If you guys don't want to open up an Etsy shop, I'm literally about to try and test the waters with the TikTok shop because everyone seems to be blowing up using the TikTok shop. Uh, but you have to go to platforms. So if your market, if your audience are like, you know, 20 and under crowd, you need to be on on, uh, on Snapchat, you need to be on TikTok. If your crowd, your market is the people that are, you know, 30 in between, you need to, you definitely need to be on Instagram. But if your um, audience and your market is literally like 40 and above, and that's your main target audience, you best believe you need to be on, on, on Facebook. So you need to know where your market and your target audience is so that way you can attract the right customers and buyers. Hello, hello. Yes, the TikTok shop. I am literally about to try and see. I'm nervous because of the turnaround time and there are some stipulations and stuff on it. But so far, I've heard everyone has been doing great with it. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I made it myself. I got to add some stuff to my shop. I make, I've been making a lot of different things, samples and demos. and uh, It's just a lot for one person. So I'm just really trying to, you know, get all the stuff that I have and upload it. So that way people can, you know, purchase it. Because a lot of people always ask me about this design. Would y'all buy this design? Would y'all buy this design? Y'all let me know. What is your favorite feature of your vlogging camera? Favorite feature? Uh, the vlog, I don't have, it's no features. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of features, but to me, I just record, you know, um, but it does have, it does have the, um, the, um, like, I don't even know what it's called, but when I turn to it, so let's see, when I turn to it and I go from, um, this one does have, this is a zoom lens. So this is not an interchangeable lens. Uh, I, I wanted something that wasn't going to be where I have to have to buy multiple lens. Cause I already have a prime camera with prime lens and those lenses are expensive. So I went with this camera because it had a zoom lens. Now there's a rig over this. If you see my hand gripping this, um, there's a cage over this so that way I can protect my camera. And then also at one point I use this to cover it, but you know, I got tired of taking it on and off. No, this is for my other one. That's for that Sony A1. So that became a problem with the lens and the light, the flash. But this I love up. Oh, the best feature though, if you are vlogging, you need a camera that has a flip out lens. So when I am recording and vlogging, and especially when I'm in here looking at myself, when I'm recording myself and I'm doing crafts or projects or teaching, doing tutorials, I need to make sure that I can see if I'm behind the camera. But if I'm in front of the camera, I need to make sure that I can see to make sure that I'm in view. So this and the one, the cameras that have the flip out screens on the top, they're not that great only because the mics get in the way. So I would say get your camera that flips out to the side. Now I know, um, um, who, what company just came because Erin on demand just did one. I believe, I can't remember. Uh, it's not Panasonic. Is it Canon? One, some camera company just came out with another one. They just came out with another one. Not so this is the Sony ZV one. So the other camera, mm, anyone know? I can't think of the name of it, but another company literally just came out with a similar camera with the, um, um, Nikon, I think it's Nikon. I think they came out with one. So 
these creators of these cameras now knowing everyone is getting into vlogging, knowing everyone is out here doing content and having their own business. So they're creating content cameras specifically with the content business owner in mind. So this, they have a media kit, a vlogging kit that comes with the remote control um, tripod, but I didn't get that one. I got my own one because I wanted to interchange my camera with the Ulanzi system. So you have to go and research. I mean, I was going watching so many tutorials like you guys watch tutorials on us teaching you how to start your business i'm out here watching tutorials and videos on like think media and stuff like that so that way i can get the best equipment for my business all right uh nikon yes the nikon z30 thank you so much i laughed like oh but that one just came out but i'm not buying another one i already had this one so you can compare as far as budget and as far as um price wise and the features which one you like best but one is by nikon this one is by sony so the Nikon's, um, someone just said it, the Nikon Z30. Thank you so much. You have, oh, it's a great one. I, when I saw it, I really liked it. I said, ooh, but I'm not buying it. How much did you pay for that one? Someone said, I purchased the Canon camera, the first one that um, all the YouTube bloggers started with. Yeah, there was so many. I really went back and forth. I know there was like the, the Canon something 50. There's so many cameras. No matter what camera you start out with, whether it's your phone or whether it's a budget camera, just start. That's what I tell people. Just find something that fits you, fits your budget. Just start. And then you can always upgrade later. I upgraded as I went, as my business grew. All right. How much is it for the Nikons? Um, someone's asking how much is that Nikon that you paid for? Because that's a really nice camera. Like I said, I saw Aaron on demand um, do it. So I'll see. I have. I don't know. I didn't know the price. Where can people purchase these items in your Amazon store? Yes, yeah, some of them are in the Amazon store, but I'm not gonna tell you. Like all my all the cameras that I have are in my Amazon store. The link is down below in the description box. But guys. Do your research just in case of, say, for instance, Target has it on sale. I love you guys. I want you guys to use my link, but I also want you guys to get the best deal. So search and do your research. Now, if everything is the same price, come back and get it from your girl. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you about it. I showed you about it. So if something goes on sale, like Black Friday is coming up, this is the time where you guys should be researching everything that you need for your business to see if it's something that you want. Amazon just had Prime Day. So Black Friday is coming up again. That's the next thing. That's when I buy my most expensive stuff because I want to see if there's going to be deals because I'm going to save some coins as well. All right. Did anyone give the price? Oh, they said the price for the, um, the Nikon is $800 um, with one with a one lens kit. And that one is an exchange, um, it's, um, interchangeable lens. So that I do know, correct? So mine, you cannot exchange a lens, but it does have the zoom. It's zoom from, this is a zoom. The lighting here is bad. This is a, this is a um, F 2.8 lens and it's a, geez, Louise, what's the lens? I don't know what the lens, the zoom lens is, but it's not that big. You can see it right here. That's the zoom. All right. So. That's as much as it, but it gets the job done. I don't need any more for that because it's for vlogging. Also, I forgot about this. This is not really that wide of a lens. I mean, when y'all look at my YouTube videos, you know, it's you see everything that I want you to see. If I need more, I'll back it up, right? Zoom in and out. But if you want extra wide lens, um, a lot of people grab this. This is known for this camera. Everyone normally gets the... Um, the Ulan, um, this is from Ulanzi as well. This is the extra lens, but I took it off and I don't want to mess up the frame. And this is literally only $50. And this is, it's got some weight to it too. Gives you an extra wide lens. If you get this particular um, vlogging kit, this is the lens that everyone gets to get an extra wide angle, especially for like vlogging. Really nice, inexpensive, and it really opens up the camera to give you a much um, larger feel. All right, let's see. Okie dokie. Research is a must. Research is a must. Hello, hello. Don't forget to hit the like button as you're coming in. Guys, what's going on on Instagram? If you're just joining me on Instagram, this is the first time that I went live on IG. I'm live on both channels, on, black, on both platforms, and I was asked to show all the equipment that I have, what I started out with, what I use now. Um, for my mic, I use the Yeti only when I'm doing like voiceovers. So I only use this when I'm doing voiceovers. So that's on my desk. I'm um, just trying to think about everything that I have. 
my laptop. I only use a laptop um, like if I'm on the go for editing or for my DTF because my laptop is a Lenovo ThinkPad. And um, I had to get this because DTF is only by PC. So I had to get the, um, the laptop. Otherwise, I use my Mac. So this is the Lenovo, um, the yoga, yoga thick pad. But there's so many different versions. Like I said, do your research. Don't, nobody asked me about gigs, specs, RAMs, all that. I researched it when I bought it and I got what I needed because this is not like an everyday thing for me. Um, so yeah, yeah, it has all this stuff, but I don't remember all that. I'm not like a techie like that. Um, I have this thing. Anyone knows what this is? This is the Gear 360. And I got this for free when I purchased something a while ago. I heard this was really nice, but I never used it. Never used it. Don't even know like really how to use it. And I just was like, I don't need another gadget. But um, anyone knows what this is or have one or ever use this? I don't think to use it for content. Yeah, so you have this. I don't even know like what it would be for. Can I see your DTF? Okay, so you can't see my DTF because I had to send it back. <laughs> All right. So someone is on Instagram is asking about my DTF. All right. So long story short, I was having I had the um, the DTF, the Prestige A3 Plus, but there um, and that one is discontinued. I got it through Heat Transfer Warehouse. I was having some issue. It was working great. Y'all all know my issue with the the DTF. I seem like I'm having an issue. My road to DTF has been like really trying. So I had the Pro Color at first. Sent it back. Um, because that one was not working at all, and now I have the Prestige A3, but um, I was having some issues with the margins, and something was off. Like I was on the phone with tech and everything, and then it just kept getting hot. That red button kept getting on. So now I shipped, I shipped that back. I showed it in my stories how I had it packed, but no one really knew what it was. I put it in the crate, had to ship it back. So they're sending me the A3 Plus R. So hopefully that one is coming back soon. I'll have to you know unpackage that all up. But as you can see, my space over there on my counter is empty because my DTF is missing. As you can see over here on um, on YouTube, guys, sorry. My space, space on my counter for my DTF is missing. So yeah, once my DTF comes back, then we'll be up and running again with the DTF. We'll be up and running again with DTF, guys. Uh, but yeah, I don't. This is this 360 camera. I don't know. I gotta figure this out and see. It looks like a little robot. I don't know what it's really for, but it was so cute. But I never used it. Never used it. Um, I knew you were gonna send it back. You sold what? I sold. You said so. Yeah. The well, I sent the very first one back. I sent the very first one back. That was the pro color. That was a hot mess. Never worked. But my um. My prestige, I still got the oven, I still got the purifier, all that stuff. It just, just one day, just the margins was off. So they um, exchanged it for me. So now um, All American, they have a smaller one. The one that I have, the one that A-Dub have, it's discontinued. That prestige A3 Plus and the A3 Plus R is discontinued. They have a new smaller, a faster one or they have a much bigger one. So once I get mine back up and running, I'll be going through all of that, taking you through and show you like what um, what new options they have for the Prestige. Um, hello, if you're just coming in, send me the that little 360 so I can tell you what it does. Send it to you, no, you just tell me what it does. I'll research it. Uh, what's going on on Instagram? Hello, hello. All right, so let me know if you have any other questions. Guys, I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. It's a Sunday. I thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you had not done so. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. I need you. Um, I really appreciate everyone coming and let me know what else you want to know. Um, that's pretty much all of my equipment. I don't have a lot of, a whole bunch of equipment. I'm simple. I only get the bare minimum what I need. Now I do have, I do have this. I put it back here. Because I thought I was going to be standing back here. So when I'm doing my photography, um, when I'm doing my uh, product shots and stuff, you know, I have like my large savage backdrops. I'm pretty sure hopefully everyone has seen that and like whether reels or my photos um, or my YouTube. I have videos where I, you know, showed you guys product shots in the very beginning when I was a photographer, um, I, I had my my strobes. And my soft, some people say, why don't I use soft boxes instead of my ring lights? Up here, there's just not a lot of room. 
So my table takes up a lot of space um, and my ring lights are just easier for me. I hate that it shows that ring. Um, soft boxes are better. So I do have soft boxes, people. I love these. These give the best lighting. So the only time I'll take these out now because I tried it in here, but it's just like, it's just too much to have it set up. And then when you open it up, like, Lord Jesus, let's open this up. I don't have it on my thing. And this is just one of the ones I have. I have a much bigger one than this. And that's in my garage. But I use the soft boxes all the time. This is the glow and I have the flashpoint one. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They give the best lighting. Um, but I'm not keeping this out in my room because I buy, we work me working on the table and then me going to the heat press, me going to the you know embroidery machine, going back and forth. It would just be in the way. So I do not use these up here, uh, but I love these. You can put um, the strobe in them or you can put the flash in. So when I do have it set up, that's why I went and got the new flash that I have because you can even mount these inside. So you don't have to have a huge expensive strobe. Or if you don't want to buy these, you can literally go get like those umbrella lighting. I'm telling you guys, I even tested those in the beginning when I first started, you know, take, cause you have to have lighting. Lighting is key. Lighting is key for whether you're just doing photography or lighting is key for your content, for your vlogging. So you have to have some type of lighting, but in my room, I just use my, uh, my ring light, but I use these when I'm downstairs, if I'm doing like a really big shoot. All right. It looks like it gives good lighting. Yeah, these are really great. So you have to do your research on um, light boxes so that way you can get the correct size for the feel for the area that you're going to be shooting in. Most people have two on the side, so they do have some like at Walmart, Target, Amazon, where you can get those deals where you can get like the two soft boxes on one side. Um, and then they're pretty much inexpensive. So again, look out for all these deals for uh, Black Friday coming up. All right, because lighting is definitely key when you're doing product shots. All right, if nobody can't see what you're shooting, ain't nobody gonna buy it. All right, questions. What microphone do you use on your pre-recorded craft videos? Oh, I showed it. So on my, my microphone, if I'm doing voiceovers, I use this at my desk, but if I'm vlogging and I'm getting ready to get the, the two, I've been really battling between the um you know the, the 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 microphones I can't even think I can't think of nothing right now the name but on my camera right now all I have is the video road mic so if I'm vlogging out it's pointed out this way but if I'm out and if I know I'm gonna be talking then I'll just turn it to me right and then if you're outside if you're outside you want to make sure you have a dead cat. So I have two actually. So this is a dead cat. I have two because I thought I lost it at one time and I hate it. I had to buy another one. So of course, when I couldn't find it and of course, time I found it, time I bought a new one, I found it. I was so mad. But so now I have two so they can go on any camera, but these are really great. But I also have to get the ones that have the two because I was at one time I was like, yeah, I'm going to be out vlogging a lot with Katie and stuff. So I wanted those, the wireless mics. I can't think of the name of them right now, but there's two. I know one is, I can't think of the names of them, um, but I'll be getting one soon because I think those are really um, great um, to use and as opposed to this all the time. So that's a, those are the mics that I have right now. So what else did TikTok make you buy? TikTok, I only bought that one thing off TikTok. I know Timu makes me buy a lot of stuff. I have another Timu haul coming, so beware. I have another one. I'm going to be doing a clean with me video. Um, people requested that one. So y'all want to see me clean up this room because it's a hot mess. That is coming. Um, Instagram, you might just get the real because, you know, I'm not going to, this is all, I don't know when the next time I'll be going live on Instagram, but guys, I've been long with you guys on Instagram. Um, and the numbers are dwindling down on Instagram. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to tune off on Instagram, hop on over to YouTube. That's where it's all at. If you guys are not subscribed on my YouTube channel, definitely the link is in the bio, Katrina's Graceful Creations. I know I have a lot of new followers on Instagram, but, you know, we have a whole lot of fun on YouTube. So jump on over. That's for the full tutorials. I do want to say when I post my reels, when I post those, um, you know, things in the stories, I get so many questions about the reels. Every time I post a reel on IG, the full length video, the full tutorial is on YouTube. So if I'm not answering all your questions, because I have a lot of followers now 
um, and sometimes it's hard to get back to everyone, there's a full tutorial on YouTube. I put in a lot of work, a lot of hours to give you guys the content. So please just go on over to YouTube and all your questions will be answered. I promise you. I promise you. I love you guys so much on IG. Um, any final questions um, coming back on over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm over here on YouTube, all right? So make sure you follow me over there. The links are always in my bio. Whenever there's a reel on Instagram, in the stories for 24 hours, the link is there. It's only there for 24 hours. Otherwise, the link is in the bio, in the bio, all right? I'm trying to make things as easy as possible because I know everyone doesn't really know how to navigate through Instagram, but um, that's the best I can do for you guys on IG, all right? I love you so much. Thanks for joining in. Wait a minute, YouTube. Don't shut off, all right? Stay with me, all right? Thank you so much, IG. Love you all. Have a good night. Happy Sunday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right. That was my first time going live on IG. All right. So I just want to make sure I read through all the comments first. And um, I don't even know what I'm doing. I got to fix that. All right. So I just want to go back. I'm going to scroll back up. Um, I can't wait to see you put up that fancy Christmas. Oh, you know it's coming. <laughs> I'm trying to get my boyfriend to come down and help me put up that tree. Um, I do have now a partnership with King of Christmas. And I got some more stuff. So um, I, I didn't even put up all my decorations last year outside because this is a lot so this year i think i'm feeling a little joyous guys and i'm gonna show you guys my family used to do um like battles for christmas who can decorate their house the best and stuff so you know i'll be doing it big so i'm trying to you know see what i can do if i can get my son to help me then i'll do a nice nice home tour christmas everything because this will be my second year in this house for christmas so i'm gonna try to get all that done as well let's go through these comments let's go through these comments guys i love you all uh, what microphone do you use on your... Okay, I showed that. Um, I'm going to run this live back to the beginning. Yes, please do. Please do, because I'm learning a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, what else do you... TikTok make you buy? I saw that one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm reading. I'm scrolling through. That has to be attached because at the end of your viewers, it makes a lot of noise. Which ones? I didn't like the mics that has to be attached to you. Oh, like the the road or the, I can't think the road go, like the, the ones where it's like two, um, you and a partner. I haven't used it yet, but I know Alan has one. I was comparing between two models. So I am going to be testing out and see which ones are better. Um, ah, thank you so much, um, Shiny D. Thank you so much. Yeah, I finally had one reel that went on our Instagram that had over 1 million views. But you know what it seems like? It had like 1 million views, but like 25,000 likes. I'm like, make the numbers make sense. So, you know, people are watching, but, you know, not everyone likes the videos. Um, thank you so much. I have breast cancer, so my tree is white. And the decor is pink. I love that. I love that. I'll uh, make a wreath to match. Awesome, awesome. I love that. Ever since I seen your Christmas um, tree investment, I have one in my cart thinking of, yeah, those trees are no joke. And I, I have a, mine is eight feet, eight foot, eight feet. <laughs> but it's still not tall enough for me. I wish it was even taller. I want a nine foot one. Um, so as you guys know, I'm kind of in like a new relationship, right? New relationship, love of my life, right? So when he saw my tree, like he lives in a penthouse in New York. I am long distance. So when he saw the tree, and I was like, you know, he, the first time he came, he, he was looking at everything because, you know, eventually we're trying to merge our lives and I might be moving back to New York. Oh, I might be moving back to New York. So he was like, where's that tree going? That's the first thing he said. Like, where is that tree going in my house? I was like, you got to make room for my tree. So I got two trees, but, you know, I'll deal with one, but I'm bringing my new tree. Um, so, yeah, I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. So Thanksgiving every my house is decorated so i don't know about you guys but thanksgiving everything is decorated all right um uh, yeah so any more questions as far as um devices getting started i do have other videos guys on my channel where i talk about different equipment um how to get started i'm getting a lot of questions on like how do i start my business what things so i have some pre-recorded videos for that and i'll try to link them down in the bottom of this video as well for you guys 
Uh, yes, love is beautiful. Love is beautiful, but it's a, you know, we just pray everything works out. Um, but I think that's pretty much everything that I have. I, uh, oh, you know, of course, you know, accessories, you know, for your charging cameras, all that stuff. But everything is pretty simple. Some people have so much stuff, but there's really no need for it. I only have like the bare things that I know I'm going to need, that I know I'm going to use, that's going to get me get me by because I don't like spending a whole lot of money either and you know this is the crafting channel so I don't get like equipment sponsored you know but you know can and call your girl so we call your girl you know but um other than that you know I just try to get what I need and I try to get what's on sale all right um tfs what does that mean I'm so like old what does that mean tfs I don't know <laughs> I feel like I skipped some comments and stuff earlier because the chat was moving. Um, but I just want to make sure I answer all your questions. But if that is it, oh, thanks for sharing. I had no idea. You're welcome. You're welcome. I feel so old. You can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with her. She puts the link under. Yes, all of, do you have a, I do not have a Facebook group yet. I am still trying to manage everything that I'm doing now. So I know a lot of other content creators have a Facebook group. I just haven't had the time to set anything else additional up. I don't want to add to my plate because I'm really, really trying to expand my business and my clothing brand. That is really the forefront. Um, and my son, you know, with him. And I don't know, some people have asked me, something happened. So I got my son's website designed with a fiber um, graphic artist. So someone was like, I was trying to purchase some stuff, some blanks I do have still. I'm about to put his stuff on sale because um, I went to check his website. My website, my Shopify store for two hype apparel is paid up for the whole year. But apparently the person that I got to design my website. So you guys have to be really careful with Fiverr because they're not on Fiverr no more. So the license for my, the paid version of the, the theme, gone. So my store is temporarily closed until I switch the theme and remake it. I'm like, are you kidding me? So now I have to go redesign his whole thing and put it in a free thing. So right now, Too Hype Apparel, you can't purchase anything unless you DM me and I send, I make an invoice. But um, some people wanted to buy some blanks and I'm just so mad because the person who, I had no idea. So the person who designed my website on Fiverr, that person is not there no more. So I guess the license is gone. So it took down my website. I was like, I never heard of that. So I was really mad. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you can see here, I do TikTok, uh, follow all the platform. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's crazy. So guys, I'm going to end this live. I'm about to go eat dinner. I'm about to get ready for Big Brother and relax for the rest of the night. Um, I love coming on lives with you guys because I can connect with you guys more. So um have some more awesome videos coming out soon down the line. Stay tuned for those. In the meantime, enjoy all the rest, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay blessed. Keep pressing. Bye.